Greetings, unsettled souls. Yes! Sam Ivey began to do political commentary for the media speaks, keeping our 12 days of Christmas going. I do want to say real quick, I want to give a shout out to the ASPCA. I promised I would do that all the way until June, and now I'm going to give her like two more weeks, or maybe give her the whole month till July. Uh, Miss Ricky Artie, who picked our dunce cap of the month, a uh, dunce cap of the year, the Golden Dumdy winner, uh, which you're going to hear about in a couple of weeks, um, wanted to uh, give a shout out to her charity. That's the way it works around here, by the way. If you donate to the show, let me know what your favorite charity is. I'll give a shout out to it. Maybe it's to your business. Maybe you just want to tell somebody that you love them on air. Right? Let me know. Uh, it's one of the things that the show does, so when you donate to the show, I'm able to pass it on and help other good organizations and worthy causes. And let's face it, the ASPCA is where people go when they love animals and fear lunatics like PETA. Uh, make sure you do look them up, friends. And we're going to go ahead and get into it. I'm going to screen share for those who are subscribed on The Media Speaks. That's why you should subscribe there. I keep telling you. Um... This is from the New York Post. You're not going to believe this. Talk about loving someone. Dying man left two-year-old... Repeat. A dying man left two-year-old 14 years worth of Christmas presents. This is this was something else. Uh, originally, I guess this was in Fox News, a Welsh family recently discovered that a deceased neighbor left their two-year-old daughter, Katie Williams, Christmas gifts that she'll be able to open for the next 14 holiday seasons. That would be Christmas seasons. The neighbor, Ken, lived next to Katie and her family, that's C-A-D-I, in her Welsh town of Barry, Vale of Glamorgan, for two years, according to the BBC. Her parents, Owen and Carolyn, said Ken doted on their daughter, on Monday, Ken's daughter paid the Williams family a visit and presented them with the festive surprise. She was clutching this bag, a plastic sack, and I thought it was rubbish. She was going to ask me to throw out, Owen told the news outlet. But she said everything but but she said it was everything that her dad had put away for Katie. It was all of the Christmas presents he had bought for her. Both parents began to tear up, and Owen said it's difficult to describe because it was so unexpected. I don't know how long he put them away, whether it was over the last two years or whether he bought them towards the end of his life. I tend to think towards the end of his life. Who's with me on that? He knew he was going to go, and he wanted to leave something specifically for her. Katie's parents said Ken gave the young girl books and toys. On Twitter, Owen wrote he and his wife are thinking of starting a tradition with Katie and giving her a present from Ken for the next 14 years. Earlier this week, the family caved and opened one of Katie's gifts. Ken gave her Christmas Eve at the Mellops, a book written by Tommy Uger. Owen described Ken as a real, real character. U-N-G-E-R-E-R -E -R on that author. So, uh, what do you think, friends? I think that I think he knew he was going, and when he uh, one of the last things he wanted to do was to make sure that uh, this little girl knew beyond a doubt that uh, she was loved on Christmas. And I think that's that's awesome. That's something that I don't think we think about a lot is how people are going to view us after we're gone. And maybe he had planned on her getting all fourteen gifts at one time. That's that's possible, but that doesn't change the fact that 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 may that could be an interesting idea could be to go ahead and leave a number of Christmas gifts for someone after you're gone for them to open periodically for years after you are gone. That's an interesting concept. Let me know what you think of it. Uh, hello, Roland. Honor to have you. Hello, Cindy. Um, again, it's the 12 days of Christmas, so we sometimes go off on tangent stories. If you're new to the show, normally it's news-driven and uh, libertarian talk and war talk and all that. But 12 days of Christmas, you get a little bit of that. You got Flynn yesterday, but uh, I break it up. And you can donate, as always, at the correct views at hotmail.com through PayPal. Good night, friends. Thank you for hitting subscribe. Let me know how you're liking these. Good night. God bless. Facebook, HDEF.